Spanish for poop. Here is what I found. Okay. Hello, papas. <laughs> Today I'm going to be taking part in the Never Have I Ever tag. I know this is very girly for me. I, I know I do makeup videos. I know I do hair related videos. But this is exceedingly girly. <laughs> Questions. Haven't read them all yet. But I do know some of them are ridiculous. <laughs> Never have I ever had a spray tan. Ah. I regret choosing to do this tag video already. Honestly, I wanted to find a tag video that was just like, never have I ever picked my bum and ate it. Instead, it was like, no, only makeup gurus have made this tag happen. Never have I ever had a spray tan. No, because I don't want to look like a piece of shit that has just come out of somebody's asshole. I have friends who get spray tans and go and spray your body as much as you want, but when you come out, you look like twats. Your face might look good, maybe your arms look good, but your hands look like you've been up someone's asshole. Lines all down your legs and you can't go out in the rain. What is up with that? You can't even let me throw water at you as a joke because you're like, girl, my spray tan gonna run off with your spray tan. <laughs> Question number two, slept with makeup on. Oops. Everyone slept with makeup on once in their life, right? If you haven't, you're either A, a liar, or B, Cheryl Cole, and someone has to come in and take it off for you. I personally have once or twice, well, more than once, more than twice, more than three fucking thousand times, but it was probably when I was drunk off my face and I've got into bed and I'm like, I can't be asked for this shit at night. <laughs> Question number three, dyed my hair a crazy color. <laughs> Cheeky. I think the answer to that question is very obvious unless you have no idea who I am. <laughs> question number four. Spent over a hundred dollars on makeup at once. How much is one hundred dollars in pounds? Very. That would be sixty-five pounds and thirty pence. Probably almost. I don't spend a lot of money on big brands that just like eating your money because they know that they can sell their products to you for that extortionate price. I don't fall for that trap and I also don't fall for the trap of not relying on my own natural beauty. I do like wearing makeup but I don't cake myself in makeup. <laughs> Number five, one red lipstick to work or school? Oops, these questions are so ridiculous. School? No, because I probably would have got the weirdest looks, especially because I was in all girls school and there was just girl walking around with bright red lips, everyone would probably be like, she's probably a prostitute. But then again, the word school can mean university and college in America, so I'm gonna have to say yes because I've worn red lips to uni. Sorry if that's a crime. <laughs> Question number six is left the house with a noticeable foundation line. <laughs> Oops. It's not the top priority on my list when I leave the house, especially if I'm in a rush. I'm not going to be like, girl, I'm going to miss my train just so I can blend in my foundation line. If I go out and then realise later on that I have a foundation line, I'm just going to rub it with my little phalanges. <laughs> Question number seven is lost a false lash in public. No, because I don't wear false eyelashes because I think they are the only thing on planet Earth that I think actually came from hell because they are that much of a bother to me. <laughs> Question number eight. Never have I ever cut my own hair. Well, I cut my fringe slash bang, so I guess that counts as hair, but I don't cut the ends of my hair because that would just be disastrous. I mean, I know I'm all about that cheap life, but I don't like it to be noticeable that I'm all about that cheap life. <laughs> Question number nine. Never have I ever bought a product just for its packaging. Oh my God, this is a great question because I love packaging. I am a sucker for a good bit of packaging. I probably haven't bought a product that I know of just for the packaging, but good packaging does raise its chances of me buying that product by about 80%. If the company's done well and packaged something really well, then they deserve me to buy that product because of their efforts. I mean, for example, I have a freaking bit of packaging sat on my bloody windowsill. This wasn't even mine. It was my sister's girlfriend's. She bought some fangs for Halloween and the packaging was so cool that I wanted to keep it. Custom design, sexy bites. Why do I want that on my windowsill? Because it looks freaking cool. Not even Halloween either. I've had this up all year round. You just saw my ass crack. <laughs> Never have I ever used rollers in my hair. No. My hair is so thin, fragile and short that it probably wouldn't even look nice if I did that. It always looks fabulous when someone does that. <laughs> Never have I ever over plucked my brows. Yes, I did that as a kid. I think everyone has been for a <laughs> stage where they just had this thin little piece of crap going over their eye. And that was me. And I love to talk about that so much so that I'm not going to talk about it anymore. The joys of sarcasm. Question number 12 is never have I ever got plastic surgery. I don't frown upon anyone that's got plastic surgery done. I don't think I would ever go ahead with putting my life at risk for something cosmetic unless it was necessary. I feel like people need to be more grateful for the face that they've got given. There are people that have to go through operations and surgeries that they don't want to go through simply because they need to save their lives and there's people who go under the knife for money 
money to change their face for no particular reason other than the fact that they don't feel confident with it. I'm all about confidence. I think confidence is really important, but it's just really, really upsetting that some people go for surgery before therapy, perhaps. And also I have a little issue with the amount of money people are willing, willing to spend on their face or their body. Maybe consider putting the money elsewhere. I mean, if you work hard for your money, then you're absolutely entitled to do what you like with it. But I do have a little issue with that too. <laughs> Last but not least is question number 13, thank goodness. Never have I ever got my makeup done by a professional. I'm really freaking fussy when it comes to my face. I feel like I can't trust people. I have very big trust issues. Even on my wedding day, I'm gonna feel really nervous. I'll probably get them to do my makeup every day, a week before my wedding. Not because I'm vain, it's just because I don't trust people. People can't be trusted. <laughs> I'm going to love you and leave you now, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will leave the questions in the description box below if you dare answer these questions. <laughs> I love you so much. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook. Make sure you subscribe, be notified every time I make a new one. If you're on new mobile phones, don't forget to click on my username and click on the bell that appears next to my username on my channel and that will give you a notification every time I upload straight to your mobile devices. Bye guys, see you soon. <laughs> I don't know if to make this video at all. I don't really want to watch this video back and edit for it because I know it's just going to make me feel even worse. I don't know whether I should even be considering talking to you about it. And as well as that, I don't really know how to talk about it, if I'm honest, because I don't really know what's going on in my head, which is probably why I want to sit and talk about it. In respect